Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is recovery of lost files. So oftentimes when we're working on a really large part, lots of different tool paths, um, we are saving with every action we take. There's a save and copy, there's a save and calculate, uh, and that is the save function inside Solid Cam. Uh, the delete function is pretty much like it is everywhere else in, on your computer. Once you click delete, deletes the file. There really is no way to recover a deleted operation or the deleted action inside Solicam. Uh, so how would you recover any kind of lost action or anything like that? Maybe you made a mistake and you wanna uh, just kind of go back to a previous version of your file. Well, in this video, we're gonna cover that. And basically, it is a function of your Windows. There is a way to back up your file and then just roll back your saving of that file using the file history. So we're gonna go through that in this video. Uh, so real quick, let's just use my part here as an example. Uh, you can see I have a couple of operations here and let's say I make a huge mistake and I highlight all of these and delete them. So let's say I didn't pay attention and I deleted all my operations. What am I going to do? I, I need to recover that. Uh, so right off the bat, if you, for, if you feel that you could just go back to a previous version of your file that you didn't save, let's say I had this file open and uh, uh, I realized that I didn't even get to save at this point. I could easily just do a close without save. And then what that'll do is it will, it'll close this file without saving the work I've done. Basically any change I've done will not be saved. It'll just go back to the last version of the saved file. So that's the first thing you can do. But let's say I wasn't even paying attention and I closed out my file. And while it's, while I see the wheel turning there, I go, oh, realize, oh, I deleted all that stuff. So now how do I recover that? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, if we take a look at where I'm saving this file, you can see that I have my version of my file there. Now what I can do is I can just right click on it, properties, and there's a tab in the properties called previous versions. And you can see that I actually saved a previous version of my file uh, pretty much uh, about an hour ago, if you're looking at my clock here. Uh, so how do I go back to that version? Well, it's as simple as just clicking on restore and it's going to ask me if I want to replace what's already there in that folder. I'm going to say replace because it's essentially replacing what was already there with that previous version. It's almost like you did a copy and paste and you're telling it to overwrite that file. So as soon as I do that, you can go to tools, solid cam, recent cam parts, open up my last file. And if you remember, I deleted all my operations. This should now open up with all the operations back on screen. So I recovered that lost file. So how do I actually get it to do that? How do I actually get it to save those previous files? Well, that is the Windows functionality we're gonna cover in this video. What you'll see is if you go to your taskbar and you can type in things like file history, you're really just trying to get to the backup settings. So if you forget about file history, you can literally just type in backup and it'll take you to the backup settings. Once you get to the backup settings, you'll get a window that looks sort of like this. Now I already have my backup settings set up, so that's why we're looking at this kind of finalized version. But when you first open up your backup settings, what you're gonna get is a, a little window here that says add drive. You need to save your backup files to a separate drive. So if you have just a standard computer, you just have your C drive, you'll need to actually have maybe something like an external drive, or if you have uh, the ability to add another hard drive in your computer, you can do that as well. Essentially, it just needs to be a separate drive from the one that you're saving these files on, just as a backup. Uh, if we go into more options, we can see what we actually can detail with this backup. So right now, I have it set to back up my files every 10 minutes and keep the files that I'm backed up forever. Uh, when you first come down here to the back of these folders section, it probably has a bunch of files added for you. All you really got to do is just click on it and you can remove the ones you don't want. Um, I obviously intend to keep this one here. This is the file that we were just looking at. So it's going to back up every 10 minutes that file to this external hard drive that I have hooked up. And that allows me to, again, if we just review this, just right click on any file in that folder, go to properties, previous versions and I can restore it back to that previous version, the previous file that's been saved. So that's how you can recover your lost files using the Windows functionality. Any questions on this or anything else from Solicam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. Uh, you can send us your parts, your questions via the ticket system at solicamsupport.com. 
and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.